Hello boys and girls. So this is Mohit Agarwal here. This video I am making for all the CMA students to raise voice for them. And I am going to give some suggestions to the Honorable Central Council members. And uh, I would like all the uh, students also to like the video and share the video so that it reaches the highest authority. And I have good contact with the institute and I know they do listen to the constructive suggestions. Okay. So based on the suggestions that I have received, based on the problems that students have uh, told me about these. So, I am going to discuss it on a very constructive manner. Let me start with the congratulating all the central council members for taking such a bold step. Now, 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 uh, on one hand, we are seeing students of other institutes crying for online exams and here comes CMA Institute uh, taking all the pain and all the effort to make it happen. But there lies some problems, genuine problems and uh, it, sh it can be addressed and it should be addressed. So, I have five points to make and uh, five requests and five uh, demands and requests from the honorable members. And uh, these five requests on behalf of CMA students are, point number one, we want a bit of extension. When I say we, it means both students as well as institute. Why institute? To develop proper authenticated, well-tested software and necessary infrastructure. So, there is no uh, egoistic, there, there should not be any egoistic approach that once the dates are announced, we have to conduct the exams on that date. No, you are conducting exams, you are giving priority to the health of the student, that's more than anyone can have ever asked for. Okay, so extension is the need of the hour. <coughs> Uh, maybe uh, a month or so, so that students can also practice and uh, get themselves adapted to the new mode of examination and the institute can also test its software properly. Okay, so we want a bit of extension so that the panic is solved, students also get uh, ample time to get uh, adapt to the new technology and the new system of examination. So, we do not want the exams to be cancelled and uh, we do not want offline exams. Uh, mandatory for all no what we want is that please give us a bit of time and bit of extension it will be good for both now the second request is please release the mock test immediately with a proper functioning server i know you have uh, already started the process but still the server is not responding at all the question papers are not getting open and even if uh, uh, we are changing the question it is taking at least 30 seconds for a question to get changed okay when we are going on to the next question it is taking at least 30 seconds and moreover the time taken uh, uh, to change the question is being counted is being counted by the system in the exam time so necessary changes must be made in that also so please release the mocks immediately uh, not uh, three days after not four days after but tomorrow by tomorrow or day after tomorrow at max which means today is uh, 28th by 22nd October it has to come out in a proper manner okay now the third the third request is to please clarify about negative markings whether MCQs are going to have negative marking I would like to believe no but please clarify and uh, also clarify what about the segregation of marks will it be maintained because uh, there are sectional areas in a particular paper for example uh, if I talk about uh, law, there is ethics 10 marks. So, will those marks be maintained? Will those sectional marks be maintained? We want clarity on uh, negative marking, sectional cutoffs that we have. And uh, we also want clarity on the choice because earlier students were given ample choice. So, uh, it might have so happened that student may have, it's, it's a wrong strategy though, but student uh, might have skipped out a particular chapter believing that uh, he is going to leave that question in choice. So, what about the choice? Will the choice be there or not? So, please give us clarification on negative markings, segregation of uh, marks as per uh, different sectional areas and the choices. The fourth request is, what about those students who did not fill up the form because they were sure that they are not going to offer offline exams because of the risk factor uh, of getting infected. So, the, they simply did not bother to fill up the form. Assuming and why assuming? 
seeing the fact that the exams are supposed to be held offline, so they didn't fill up the form. Now, what about those students? Should they not be given an opportunity to fill up the form again? Because now the exams have been announced on online mode, so I would request institute to kindly consider about those students and again reopen the exam filling up window. And we should also consider about those students who wanted to give offline exams. That is why they filled up the form and now they are uh, not uh, wanting to give online exam by whatever reason. So, it, they should also be given an opportunity if they do not want to sit for this exam, allow them to carry forward their examination fees and whatever uh, payment of the fees that they have done, it should be allowed to be carried forward. In other words, we can say opt out scheme should also be there for those who are not willing to uh, give this exam. Why? Because uh, either they may, might not be having this uh, uh, infrastructure to give the online exams. Okay, this may be the reason. So, they should also be given an opt out option. So, these are the five very genuine demands and uh, very humble requests that we would like to make uh, citing and believing that uh, uh, you are working for students interest and you will surely consider these factors. Okay. So, please, please, please do consider these points and the time is ticking out and running out. So, please do come up with these clarifications asa. एकदम जरूर से फटाफट जो है लेकर के आइए ठीक है सो दिस इज इट एंड आई वुड अगेन लाइक टू से दैट आई हैव आई एम इंटरेक्टिंग विद सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स अदर इंस्टीट्यूट स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलमोस्ट वेरी डिजेक्टेड दैट देयर इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर नॉट दैट प्रोएक्टिव एंड सीएम इंस्टीट्यूट इज बीइंग प्रोएक्टिव सो इट्स अ मैटर of uh, great honor for you guys and uh, you have done a tremendous job no doubt in that but as i have said these issues are very much genuine and needed to be taken care of so please uh, do take care of these issues that's it that's it from my side students please keep on preparing uh, one message that i read it was from one of my student only what he said me uh, he gave me confidence that sir nothing to worry sir sir i am ready whether it is white ball or red ball or whether test match or ODI or T20, I have the same bat that I have to use and I have the same cricketing knowledge that I have to use. I will use the same bat and smash everything. So, the same thing. If your concepts are good, if you are conceptually clear, then no matter what the mode of exam be, you are going to get success. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.